do, do you think realistically Patino will get a chance at Arsenal at some point? Um, I think so. I think it was maybe, I think he will. Let's talk about Charlie Patino. Charlie Patino, someone that went out on loan last season to Blackpool. Yeah. And I think he had a fairly decent loan, good loan from all accounts. Mm. Um, 19 years old, he came back and said he wants first team football and all that kind of stuff. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> I understand it, I hear it, but at the same time, bro, I don't hear it. Like, mm. just, just wait your turn. And you can see, especially now, I can see for some players they must be feeling that that pathway to the first team is is yeah. locked off with arsenal here spending 100 million on someone mm. that plays in your position like why wouldn't yeah. you feel like that um he didn't manage to get a permanent move away from arsenal this summer um as i think he was kind of pushing for instead they've opted for a loan he's gone on swansea to loan you said that um he had a decent match in his debut uh, off the bench yeah yeah reports i was reading saying that he came off the bench played really well um changed the game although they didn't win but you know kind of like got them on the back foot because i think it was one of those ones where they were down like four one or four two or something like that so they have a Got the momentum back on their side and stuff although there wasn't enough in the end um i think mikhail's done his magic again here i think i was reading reports where they're getting him to sign another contract or something like that or getting him to want to stay again and i don't know what my man's saying <laughs> if he's just saying you know it's if he's like oh i promise you'll start like <laughs> or something like i don't know if he's just hitting that button and then they're just like okay 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 cool but he clearly has something that he can say to these players because we all, like you said, the reports were that he wanted to leave, um, he wanted a permanent move away. And again, when you start playing anywhere, you just feel like I don't want to not play anymore. I don't want to come back and do this or do that. But clearly they've gassed him up some way to believe that maybe there must be a path for him to first team football or a way into the squad. He's gone on loan to another good team in Swansea. Um, in the championship i would have liked a prem move but maybe that's too early for him maybe mm-hmm. he's not level yet but again it's more important for him to go somewhere and play and i know he did that at blackpool so go swansea show what you can do and you know take it up a level um yeah so i guess this is what the topic is about will will charlie patino ever get a chance at arsenal and Obviously, from what you've said, maybe they're in talks to sign, for him to sign a new contract and still continue on with his development outside the club, going on loans and stuff like that. There are possibly positions that are going to open up. Um, mm. We know Partey, if, yeah. if maybe not right now, but end of the season, if someone comes in with a good enough financial deal, Partey goes. Like, yeah. we're, we don't, we're not resigned to the fact of him leaving. We're just waiting for the right deal to come. Mm. Um we know for facts oh nene is going oh yeah you know for facts probably lakonga's out the door somewhat as well but maybe one toe left in the door with Lokonga. <laughs> there could mm. be a chance if he moves to burnley um mm. and you know he has a good season over there and wants to come back mm. um so there are possible options in the future for patino possible openings i don't know that the hierarchy in terms of you know, of course, the different players. There's, there's like centre midfielders, there's a the deep line ones. Yeah. There's a bit more, ones a bit more forward. We know when Yeri is probably nailed on for one of these positions that I'm talking about. When you know, when, when they start freeing up. Mm. Um, so, do do you think realistically, Patino will get a chance at Arsenal at some point? Um, I think so. I think it was maybe. I think he will. I don't know if it was two or three seasons ago. I think it was a preseason and. He came on and he was just again it's preseason, but he just looked like he could. He's got the brains. He's yeah. got the range of passing. We just got to let his body, you know, continue to develop. He's not like he's quite. He looks quite rangy. He looks taller than maybe he is. I'm not sure how tall he is, but he looks kind of like five ten ish. Um, but he looks kind of stringy. So I'm wondering if maybe he just needs to put on a bit more. Um, muscle a bit more weight get his body more robust start feeding those tackles get more your body's getting like match ready battle ready um but i feel like he's got the brain and like you rightly said you know lakonga one toe in the door 
So Nenny's definitely going. Partey, if the right deal happens. Um, flipping Jorginho, you know, he's again, I think he's 32. So he might yeah, say, yeah, one more, one more season, give it a good go. And then he might go back to Italy. So there's def- if there's one position where there is going to be openings for another squad player or someone to come in and make their, stake their claim, it is midfield. And maybe that was the, maybe that was the pitch. Maybe that was the, you know, look, give it a season or two. We almost let go of Partey this season. Really, in terms of midfielders, we're only really going to have maybe Rice, Erdegaard, Havertz if you count him as one. Um, I don't even know who else is, yeah, who else is even <laughs> there? Who else is even there? So there's definitely space in the midfield for someone like him to come in and say, yeah, all right, I'm going to come in, I'm going to show you look what I can do. And yeah, I think he's he's got he's got it all, to be honest. He, he kind of strikes me more as like a player at the base of the midfield, kind of like Jorginho in a sense. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But his versatility, I've seen him, he could, he's, I've seen him a couple of games for Blackpool going forward, um, ending up on the edge of the box, cracking some shots off and stuff like that. So I think there's definitely a way for him because our centre midfield definitely looks like in the next season or two, we'll definitely be a lot lighter. And I think that's even the reason why some of us still wanted like another midfielder to come in. Uh, but yeah, let, let's see. I, I don't. I think I give him as much chance as anyone who's who's looking for a starting place in the midfield because um, there will be opportunities in the in the near future. But right now, I think it's just about at that age making sure you're playing games regularly um, at a competitive level. And the championships, no joke these days. Absolutely mm. no joke. There's it's so competitive. Um, it doesn't matter if you've come down from the prem. You know, you're not going to walk over it or anything like that. And the, the quality level in there is a lot better. You're seeing a lot more Premier League clubs buying from the Championship for many, many years now. So um, it's not like going to be, oh, it's rubbish or, you know, the level's not good. The level's really good. I think Championship's better than some of the other European leagues, top level. Mm. So he's definitely going to get continue to get a good education there. Yeah. he's he's Obviously, we've seen him in an Arsenal shirt. Um, a couple of times we saw him out on loan last season it's funny how like um as long as he's your kind of youth prospect fans become get start getting some type of attachment to people that haven't actually done it at the top level but at the same time we we, we don't we want success now yeah. <laughs> we don't want success for or we don't want to care about if someone says oh yeah he's gonna be great in five years yeah mm. that's good for him like <laughs> right now we want to win you see what i mean and mm. it's, it's a similar situation with obviously balogun who is, is still at the club hasn't moved on just yet do you think fans get too attached to some of these academy players and and you know through just reasoning of oh yeah you know he's an arsenal player and mm. you know we could make money for him like we're going to bat in some cases for people that we haven't even seen play so yeah, no. it's like yeah mm. yeah no definitely i think it's a natural thing he's one of our own isn't it you know it's different from um one of these players who you know you can bring in and even if we still get an affiliate uh, like an affinity to them someone like patino saka smith Rowe, and ketia there's a more even special hold to them because when you can go through the whole academy and graduate into the first team it's like a different sort of achievement there's been so many players who were, were good back in the day a uh, mark randall like up up on tuba up on uh yeah. who else was there um what was the guy that was uh he used to play up front i can't remember his name but it's left my head too real loopily you know I, there's <laughs> loads of these people who carlos Vera even even though he kind of made it in but we couldn't yeah. really get him like all these players who were excellent but i think it's just the sign especially now of a successful club when it's going to be maybe one or two that come through instead of maybe the four or five because of the position we're in and it's nice obviously when you see these academy players come in but you're not winning anything now the plan is to start winning stuff and unfortunately some of these academy players are not going to make it and we're going to have to start just making profit off them and maybe it's okay send patino on loan let him show everyone what he can do and then oh trying for 15 million to you know a team coming up from the prem uh coming up to the prem got promoted or something like that so we're keeping the value of the asset making it work for us but unless you're absolutely outstanding the bar to get into the team is a lot higher um we some might even say for players like inketia and saka even smith Rowe, that the bar was a little bit lower to get into the first team it's not denying their talent because as we've just said, there was a there's been talent 
Fran Marida, like all of Cheers. these guys who were, uh, you know, who we Cesc thought Fabregas. were Cesc Fabregas. He, you know, different times that you come in from the academy, it just depends what state the team is in. But ultimately, we are going to lose some academy players who we, you know, we really, really like. Like we see last season or season before, we lost Amari Hutchinson, and he was one who was like a banker. And now he went off to Chelsea. I think he's gone on loan to Ipswich, so that's yeah. really gone wrong. But um, yeah, we're going to lose them. We're going to lose them. We just have to kind of get that to our get that into our heads a bit and just learn that that's the place we're in right now and, and just have to firm it. But naturally, we're going to feel defensive. We're going to think, oh, we can't let him go. You know, that's why he's having these over bloated squads on football manager. And that's why I'm not a football manager or a director of football because to be able to not to detach yourself healthily from the situation and be able to identify the talent but still say that there's just not a space for you right now and we can't just keep you around it's better we just let you go and continue your career 